Hello everybody. My name is Jacob. Thank you for checking out Xanity. And I'm telling you right now, I cannot guarantee how this is going to go. I'm going to be recording a game that you have probably never seen. If you have seen it, I want to know about it in the comments below. If you've never ever commented on a single website for any reason ever, you are changing that today because I want to know in the comments below if you have seen this game or played anything in the universe of this game. So some quick backstory before I jump into it and probably have to do a lot of on-the-fly audio adjusting, so be prepared for that. Back in 1993, and good news, me of the future, you're about to have to go look up a whole bunch of stuff and grab a bunch of screenshots because I'm an asshole and I'm not going to do it right now. Back in 1993, a guy by the name of Mike Hommel started making games. Now, while some wacky upstarts are out here doing stuff like this, making, you know, maybe a little first-person shooter action, you know, taking the... Com the, uh, the motherfucking uh, PC gaming world by storm. This guy, who I do not have a picture of, was doing God's work. I don't know which God, but he was doing God's work. He was pumping out games from his heart, having fun, making things that he thought was cool. And that's what it's all about. And he made a shitload of games. And there are links in the description for to the website. You can download a bunch of these games. Um, and also, it's got a, there's a couple on Steam that you can get. I haven't played them, but the reviews look nice. And I, I can't imagine that they'd be bad. Um, but anyways. Also, back in those times, were a lot of CDs like this floating around, right? With all kinds of wacky, like, demos and... And just, just just real fun things. It was a fun time in the late 90s, early 2000s. Well, on one of these discs at some point was this game called Spooky Castle. And let me tell you, as a little man, I played the absolute fuck out of this game. And when I got to my teenage years, I found the CD again, found the game again, and was like, Hey, I understand how the internet works now. I think I'm going to look up this Hamumu Games here. I think I'm going to check this out. And I found out that there was more than just Spooky Castle. And I found out that there's basically a sequel to... Well, not Spooky Castle. It would be a spinoff sequel to another game featuring the same character uh, that you've seen uh, in the Spooky Castle screenshot uh, called Dr. Uh, Lunatic Supreme with Cheese, which is a sequel to Dr. Lunatic, of which Spooky Castle is a spinoff of. Are you keeping up? Are you following? Is this all making sense? Anyways, we're going to play Dr. Lunatic Supreme with Cheese uh, for Halloween. Um, I don't fucking... That's it. That's the long and the short of it. I don't know how, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it's going to be bad. It's literally happening because Danny fucking randomly messaged me and was like, If you play this game through the channel, I will watch every single episode because I want to see how you get past some of the shit in this game. And it reminded me, it reminded me that I had this game. It reminded me of all the good times and the frustrating times. And, uh, and, uh, it was like, oh, I haven't thought about that in years. I haven't played that even longer. So I played it a little bit, and now I've decided, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Let's do this. So. Well, the capture can hear noises, but can't see anything. Hmm. Am I going to have to do a different, different, uh, recording method? Uh, let's see. Oh, it doesn't like that. That's fine. I need to open the fucking volume mixer anyways. Just ignore that. Ignore that for the time being. Don't even worry about that noise. How's that? A little bit better? Probably. Anyway, so I need to do a little recording too. Hey, check that out. Now you can see... What time of day it is? I'm recording this and everything. Way to fucking ruin the magic, huh? 35 should be sufficient, right? Uh, ignore this. This was me 
Never mind. There it is. There it is in all of its <laughs> not and all of its letterbox for some reason glory. Oh, welcome to Dr. Lunatic Supreme with Cheese, ladies and gentlemen. I bet this is going to be awful. I bet the audio is going to suck and everything's going to be awful. But anyways, we're going to we're going to play this game. And uh and that's that. Uh how do I I don't want this. No, I don't want this. Profile. I want profile. Uh, how do I make a new profile? New profile. Here we go. Spiss popped United plan for really evil maniac extermination. Project Supreme. Top secret. With colossal hordes of extremely evil spooky enemies. Cheese. Uh, please enter your login name and press enter for system access. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, Dunkel. Okay. Dunkleton. There we go. Difficulty normal. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 that's everything I want. Alright. Alright, now we have a fresh, a fresh start. I'm not going to be needing the mouse anymore. So, I'm pretty sure I need the tutorial to, like, actually complete the game. Um, but, do I want to do the tutorial right now? I don't know. I, yeah, fuck it. We'll do the gameplay tutorial, why not? Oh, it's Yerf Dog. Okay. Yeah, yeah, welcome to Dr. Linux Cream Cheese, Yerf Dog. You learn the basics. Yeah, I, I don't worry, I know how to play. Um, you go in the doors and the levels. Okay, so I'm just going to explain this to you as we go. So, the crux of each level, generally, is you have to collect all the brains. Because Dr. Lunatic is, like, stealing the brains for something about zombies. What the fuck is it? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it doesn't fucking tell me. Anyways, the crazy, evil Dr. Lunatic, very 90s, very funny. Stealing the brains to create super zombies. You collect all the brains in each level. Uh, this guy here, uh, Buwafa, tells you he's cool cat bad, which he is. And then you beat the level. Uh, your main weapon is going to be hammers. You collect hammers, and then you can throw them at enemies. Get this springy spring, you can bounce it off walls. Very fun. You collect up to five hammers for maximum firepower. You get the reverse hammer to hit motherfuckers behind you with a little yoinky sploinky. And you get pants of power to throw your hammers faster. It's as easy as that. Don't you think it was going to be difficult? Huh? Alright, yeah, yeah. Candles. Candles are optional. I'm cool, cat. Levels have candles. You collect all the candles for full level completion, but not required. All you really need to get is the brains. Um, sometimes the level won't have brains. Sometimes you just gotta get to the end of the level. Sometimes these levels get fucking stupid and wacky. Okay, darkness. Yeah, I can't see anything. A little bit of light near me. To find the exit, I think, is just the... Yeah, that's all there was to that one. Teaches you all about darkness. Which I learned all about when I played the first Pajama Sam. Alright, yeah, water. Can't touch water or you die. Got it. I'm just gonna fly through this because I'm pretty sure you have to complete it. Okay, yeah, pausing. Hit escape to pause. Bingo, bingo, bongo. At least we get to see a couple of the first enemies. This game is adorably charming, by the way. And it gets, it can be this mind-numbingly easy, or it can be completely nut-bustingly, frustratingly difficult. So these mummy dudes here, I'm as cool you can see, bad. are called mumbles. Not that big of a deal. But they will slap the fuck out of you. Check this out. They'll slap the absolute fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am... Um, should probably be asleep, but okay, yeah, torches, special weapon, special item. 
That's how you... Uh, sometimes you get into a darkness level and it's just... You don't have that little thing of light. So you can find torches to light your way. I'm cool, Cat Bear. You're not going to actually need to read anything that your dog says because I'm giving you the ultimate tutorial and walkthrough of the tutorial level right here. Right here in front of your very eyes. Stealth. Oh, fuck. I don't remember shit about stealth. Hang on. Oh, okay. Well, basically just stay in the shadows. Oh, uh, well. I failed. I forgot what these special humbles do. I'm not looking to really find out. Don't let those guys see you. They're apparently enemy rocket turrets and they'll fuck up your day. That was a close one. Alright. Yep, stealth. Easy peasy. Just stay in the fucking shadows. Don't even gotta worry about it. Next! Uh, to try, yeah, lava. Lava bad. It doesn't instantly kill you, but it does drain your health quite quickly. That's all that level tells you about. Honestly, it's just nice to have a just a fun, straightforward fucking tutorial. Really, that just gives you everything you need to know about a game. This is just all about special weapons. And this isn't even close to all of them, it's just... Gun, spears, real goofy shit, cherry bombs, missile pack, you know how it is, machete, shing. I've got not a lot to say about the tutorial, but I I wasn't really planning on like recording it, recording it, but here we are. I'm a Supreme, I don't even gotta fucking worry about it. Particle accelerator, right? It's gonna go real fucking fast. The cloak invisible, the energy shield. All stuff you don't even fucking know about. Oh yeah, underwater. Okay, well. It's it's underwater level, except you don't move really fucking slow. But cool, I mean it's what you expect. You got the bubbles, Mike fucking Sonic that jog. Refills your air. Easy peasy. Don't even gotta worry about it. Where's the curveball? I know there's a curveball. This isn't the special or weapons. Oh, okay, well. This is the one that fucking kills you because it's wacky. Alright, yeah, monster scanner, pretty cool. Tells you all about the monsters, which is a really nice fucking feature. It's just a shame that, like, the monster scanner is, like, a special drop. Um, it's like an RNG drop from enemies, so... I wish it was just, like, a thing that was, like, in every level, or... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I really like that. I like when games do that. Give you an opportunity to learn a little bit more about, uh... It's a world or whatever. If you guys will excuse me, I have places to be and things to do. Like, specifically, I need to be here with this guy. And then over... Oh, whoops. And then over here with this guy. Damn, I'm fucking good. Alright, yes, I'm cool cat bad. Let's continue. I'm trying my best to get through the fucking tutorial here and keep it semi-interesting. Um, because like I said, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, keychains. There's like four hidden in... Hidden in every level. Find them all. Special surprise or something like that. You know how it is. You don't. You, there's no way you could. Bingo! But yeah, I'm pretty sure... Because the, the levels that you saw earlier... Um, culminate in the crazy Asylum of Madness or whatever. And you have to get all of the like special keys or whatever the fuck from the different worlds... To... Um, To complete the game, to unlock the gate to the crazy asylum of madness and actually beat the game, and I'm pretty sure there is a 
Do you need to come in here too? I'm pretty sure there's a uh No, just one of you had to be in there, okay. I'm cool, cat bear. Pretty sure you have to beat the tutorial as well, because there's a key for beating the tutorial. Mm. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I'm just trying to fly through the fucking tutorial and keep it as interesting as possible. Oh, keys! Keys are fun. Yellow keys are one use. Colored keys are multiple uses. So sometimes you have to think before you use a key. I'm cool, cat bear. And yes, it is possible in many different ways in this game to get your dumbass stuck. Frustratingly stuck, and you have to restart the level. Not to mention all the really wacky fucking ways that you can just die. Alright, zombies. Everybody loves. Everybody loves. Everybody loves zombies, right? This game, honestly, it's so dumb, but this game honestly has one of my favorite zombie designs. Like, ever. And I think it's all in, like, the animations and the sound. Because they kind of lunge, right? They lunge at you. And just, I love their uh, death animation. Anyways, if a level has zombies, you have to kill all the zombies to get the brains from them, too, or you can't complete the level. That's what that one was teaching us. Transportation? Yeah, I got it. I said, yeah, I said, yeah. I said, what the fuck? I said, yeah, I got it. Raft, thank you. Oh. That's what happens if you touch the water. This game is adorable. I love this game. Alright, hop on the minecart, bust through shit. Was that not everything? Is that not all the brains? Am I insane? Am I insane in the brain? Oh, I guess that was all of them. Weird. I was expecting a cool cat bad. Oh, here's the curveball. Under lava. Yeah. It's like underwater, except you're constantly taking damage, so... Better hurry the fuck up, buttercup. I feel like forever ago, back on like an old defunct channel of mine. Okay, well, not an old defunct channel of mine, but um, once upon a time, I think I had done a playthrough. This had to have been some number of years ago. Uh, I'm trying to remember how many number of years ago. Jesus. Uh, I want to say like maybe 20, God, 2014, 2015, maybe probably, tw I think 2015. That sounds right. Uh, because I was still living with my parents. Um, I did a playthrough of Spooky Castle and that was, well, that was what it was. You know, it went about as well as you could expect of uh of 2015 me that is to say not fucking good mate not good cuz uh 2015 me uh man what's a good what's a good example so you can find content on this channel of 2016 me and 2016 me only slightly better, only fractionally more tolerable than 2015 me. So, yeah, not a... I actually don't know what year I recorded the Sonic the Hedgehog 1 Let's Play that's on this channel. Um... 
But that's basically an example, probably. Yeah, okay, I didn't need to complete the tutorial. To get a key of lunacy. Um, what do you have to say to me? You have dog? Okay, nothing important. So that is uh, the tutorial. So we go to World Select. And now we just go to fucking Caverners Caves. And now the game proper begins. We are in we are in it to win it. We are in the thick of it. Uh let's start with the one right here, I guess. The brain mines, you say. Alright. Some of these levels I, I'm just gonna go and ruin you right now. Mine shaft one. Some of the levels in this game, the way this shit kinda operates. Equipment shed are just complete and total throwaways, like joke levels, basically. And some of them... Some of them are, like, fucking... I don't even know. There's not a, there's not a non... Stupid way to... Describe it. God, I want to come up with a better way to describe what I'm trying to describe. But literally... Oh, I need to go back this way. I'm a fucking moron. All I can, the only thing I can think of is Dark Souls. Excuse me. Manager's office, huh? Can you come out here, please? Pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. I just need to hit these switches, these totally obvious switches. To, uh. Excuse, excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, ow. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing I can think of to describe it is Dark Souls, so... Yeah, some of them are that fucking... level of difficulty, or it feels that way anyways. And it's just... it's just ridiculous. It just gets absolutely fucking ridiculous. Oh, what? Did I, am I stupid? I wasn't hitting the keys I needed to be hitting, apparently. Pick me... What are you? Pick me shaman? Get out of here. I don't know if this is offensive or not. It might be. I don't think so. <laughs> no more offensive than a... No more offensive than the witch doctor. Or Geronimo <laughs> from from Scooby Doo. So, what are you guys? Oh, pygmy hunters. Here, suck this. Come get it. Bon appetit. All right, so they throw spears. That's their deal, I guess. I'm cool, cat bear. All right, cool. That's all the brains. Tell the brains in this level. I can leave as soon as I figure out how to get out of here. Back the way I came, I'm sure. Did it. Planned it. Nailed it. Alright. What's up next for us? Twisty tunnel, you say? It says, ah! The fuck? This is gonna be one of them. Oh, well, that's clearly a breakable wall. I need to find myself a hammer. I think it's called a thingy. I was corrected as a thing. Aha! Several breakable walls. Get out of here. Oh, that's... If I would have gone... Okay. There's a way I couldn't go because there's a cave in. Oh, good. Good for me. Excellent. So happy. I probably shouldn't be doing this this late at night, early in the morning, however you want to... Here's some snoring. However you want to... Describe it, but... I... Oh. Oh, there are brains. I guess I could have seen if there was a brainometer. As they're known. 
Excuse, excuse me, pardon me. What's up here? I'm pardon cool, me, Captain. pardon me, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Pardon me. But I didn't feel like I had anything better to do is what I was going to say, so I was just like, fuck it. Let's, let's get this started, I guess. Let's play some Dr. Lunatic Supreme with Cheese Baby. The shore. Oh, fuck. I need to grab this hammer. Ow, ow, ow. Because bats are... Ah, day at the shore. Bats can be an issue. They can overwhelm quite quickly. Even though they die very... Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta get to those things. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it all, piss all. Ah, alright. Ah, uh, fox, box, moving puzzles, son of a bitch. Can I not move this crate? Thank you. Is that not a movable? Alright, I got the pants. That's cool. This is one of the things I was talking about where you can trap yourself. Stuff like that. Alright, I gotta fucking... I gotta do something about this. Moss. Alright, cool. Before it keeps expanding, which it is doing. I'm cool, cat bear. This moss doesn't stop. This moss just does not stop. And I didn't get any cool sick item drops from killing any of the moss, so I can't deal with it in a timely manner. Moss Grande does not stop, even if you kill all the Mucho Moss, or none of the Mucho Moss doesn't stop, even if you kill all the Moss, moss Grande, which is not ideal. Ah, uh, that's not what you like to see, so I just need to try and fight my way out of here. There's candles. I'm not going to be getting the fucking candles. I'm just going to be leaving. Oh, I didn't actually mean to leave. Whoops. Alright, well, whatever. What's done is done. I'm just trying to focus on get through the game right now. Uh, maybe I'll come back and do... Try and do... Some 100% completion. Oh, God, Jesus. Fuck. Hammer. 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 Help me. Save me, Hammer. This is exactly what I was talking about. Alright, so the bats are coming from you. What's this do? Stopwatch? Love to see it. Oh, I just realized that they're called scary bats, and this is scarier bat. That's adorable. Ah, yes, Chinese food. What better health item than Chinese food? Oh, there's a fourth hammer. Check that I'm out. Cool, cat bear. That legitimately terrified me. Oh, good. Look at me. Look at me go. Look at me fucking go, dog. But yeah, like I said, bats are wild. They can quickly overwhelm you and just fucking sap your health away. <coughs> well, that's all the time I have for this one. I'm not going to start another level because I have no way of knowing how long that level is going to take. And uh, I am at time for this one. So, I don't actually know if I'm going to beat this game. I don't know if all of it's going to be uploaded in the month of October, or even like half of it, because I don't know how much I'm going to record, or again, if I'm ever even going to beat this game. Um, because I'm really just trying to mostly, this is just kind of like an afterthought. This is just like a fun thing that I wanted to just kind of do. Um, I'm not taking this very seriously at all. I'm not trying to be like, you know, fucking, hey guys, back with another super crazy let's play i'm not trying to fucking be about that with this one uh this is more just for me to replay this game uh, or this is just as much for me to just replay this game as it is for me to make a couple videos for the channel so um if you are interested in seeing more of this game though uh 
then just wait. I was going to say, like, like, leave a like, let me know in the comments. But there's going to be at least, you know, there's going to be a few more episodes after this one. But, uh, like I said, I don't know if I'll, I'll beat it or not. But I guess if you would like to see how far this goes, let me know now. Um, but there will, there will there will be more. But like I said, I'm trying to focus on other things for October. I'm trying to focus on getting all of Scooby-Doo out. Because it's got a hilarious ending that I'm not going to spoil. But it is very on brand for Danny and I. And uh, there's a couple of games. Uh, I don't know if any of them... If I'll have any of them uploaded by the time this video goes up. But there's a couple of uh, other things besides Scooby-Doo I want to try and do. Uh, a couple of games from uh, Chilla's Art. The person or people that made such bangers as the convenience store, Inunaki Tunnel, and Akamanto. Um, so, but uh, yeah, it's Dark Moon's Extreme of Cheese. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click like to let me know, just know that you did. And I will subscribe today if you want to see more. You know the drill. I'll see each and every one of you in whatever video comes next. Goodbye.